2013 Toyota 4Runner SR5. This one does have your typical older style Toyota key fob. This one does have a white exterior. With their pretty typical 17 inch alloy wheels. They are a six spoke design. And like I mentioned, it is a white exterior with their SR5 badges right there. And chrome door handles. This one does have a beige cloth interior. Let's go ahead and start this one up. Starts up perfect. This one does have a four spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with a five speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability and sport mode down here. This one does have 89,453 miles. All four windows are fully automatic. Let's go and call them the headlights, fog lights, and the hazards. Let's go and check out the exterior, shall we?
This particular model is equipped with a third row seat. It is easily stored away and there are two extra seats back here making this a seven seater SUV. Plenty of cargo room for anything you might possibly need when the seats are folded down. Tow hitch down below, as well as a nice scuff guard down here so when you're loading things into the trunk, you don't accidentally scratch your bumper. In the back seat, with the back seat a pretty good amount of far back, I have plenty of room back here. This is a spacious back seat with a nice, comfortable fold down center armrest with two cup holders. Two air vents are fully adjustable and closable, as well as a storage pocket in both of the rear seats. Stepping into the passenger seat, open the glove box with a push of a button. Plenty of space in there for anything you might need. Your, temp your temperature controls are right here. Different zones, and you can press for max AC. Your gear shifter is right here. Some storage here and a cup holder here. Large opening center of box, as well as another cup holder here, and this is for your four wheel drive. To your help. Tune, volume, seek, track, and all of your different saved ones here. You do have your CD player here, hazard lights, and four total air vents in the front of this vehicle. Recycling. Rear defrost and the mirror defrost. Storage down here, as well as in here, you do also get a USB charger and a 12 volt power outlet. Auto dim rear view mirror. Sunglass holder, hup ear. Traction control off, automatic traction control, garage home link. And this automatically turns it on so that the lights turn on whenever you open the door. As well as two map lights and a little LED right in there. This is for the sunroof. Descriptive gauge cluster. The speedometer goes all the way up to 120. Your engine temperature, your fuel, and your tachometer is right over here on the left. Your miles and your odometer and the gear you're currently in is all displayed in the middle along with the gauge cluster. LED turn signals in the mirrors. They are body colored mirrors.
This is the pre-facelift generation of the 4Runner. I've done a couple of videos on facelifted versions. I have a 2020 and another 2020 and then a 2019. Those are both facelifted models. The SR5 being the base model, you do get kind of bare bones. However, you do get a lot of nice features like a sunroof and power seats. Toyota does try and make sure that you know you're in a base model, but it also wants to make sure that you know that you're not in a base model at the same time, if that makes sense. They put nice features in like chrome door handles, power seats, and a sunroof, just for those added luxuries. Let's go ahead, see how this one sounds. Shut everything off. I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth tour, walk-around, startup, and engine tour of the 2013 Toyota 4Runner SR5.